Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to pin upcoming calendar events to Android's lock screen. So let me tell you up front that this requires root in the exposed framework, but on the bright side, it should work with most phones running Lollipop or higher. To give you a better idea what this is about, all you need to do is look at a friend's iPhone. Ever since iOS 7, they've had the ability to show the next calendar event directly on the lock screen, which is handy for keeping track of your upcoming agenda. Android used to have a similar feature with its lock screen widgets, but they got rid of those back in the Lollipop days. So now, the only way you're going to know about an upcoming calendar event by looking at your lock screen is when you get a notification 30 minutes or however long before the event. That's really not that helpful. So developer Abhinav Singh created a new exposed module that'll make sure your next calendar event is always displayed on the lock screen. So to get this one going, head to the download section in your exposed installer app and search event lock, which is all one word. From there, just tap the top result, then swipe over to the versions tab and hit the download button next to the most recent entry. Within a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come up. So tap install on the screen. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from Expose telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is needed. So tap this notification, then on the following screen, tick the box next to the newly installed module. From there, you'll just need to reboot your phone to wrap things up. So let me take care of that real quick. When you get back up, go ahead and open the Event Lock app that you'll now find in your app drawer. From here, tap the Selected Calendars entry, then choose the calendars you'd like to see on your lock screen. And by the way, that's a pretty cool feature, because if you have personal calendars that you don't want on your lock screen, you can just not select them. Anyway, when you're done there, tap the end time entry. This is how many days in the future Event Lock will look for calendar entries. So depending on how busy you are, you may want to set it to a higher or lower number than the default three. Aside from that, there's some other options for adjusting the text style. So you can mess with those if you want it to look a little different but all your changes take effect on the fly, so you can see the new lock screen calendar events instantly. Like I said, it'll always show your next event, and it sits right beneath the clock, so it doesn't interfere with your notifications. Really, I wish Android would do this by default, or just bring back the widgets, but in the meantime, we at least have a workaround now. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article on GadgetHacks.com, and as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.